This is the fourth build in my showcase series. It is the Sniper Retard, inspired by Roberto from the Discord. I'll go over the strengths, weaknesses, what I would do different, and the difficulty. There will be three fights. Uh, they're all pretty quick though. And this isn't the exact build Roberto uh, showed me, so it's gonna be a small deviation. I'll post his as well. Sniper Retard. Pretty potent build, obviously. Like I said, I changed the build on the fly because I had realized like I can get 11 kills per turn if I do a, it a very specific way with the feats and the spec points. Um, and I didn't realize that, so... Um, you know, you could get Blitz a little earlier instead and get increased perception instead of increased agility. See, I wasn't able to get Blitz until level 28. I'm going to go over the strengths now. Obviously the range. It is the weapon with the longest range. It can actually hit things that you no longer see on screen. Like for example a barrel or a, um, a nest. Power. It's very strong. I mean it one shots basically everything if you use snipe in a high enough caliber and the right ammo. With the Naga fight you actually can see that I ended up with more AP than I started with. I don't think any other builds can really do that without AP boosters. I started the fight with 70 AP, and then by the time I was finished, I had 85 AP. And that's, I didn't put anything else on. I didn't uh, do contraction or, again, a second time, I should say. And then, um, and I didn't have native crack. This build has good kills per turn. Even barring the 11 kills, like, you still can reliably kill Probably about four to five guys a turn on the first turn. So this build actually does have 100% crit. 100, well, it actually goes above. Uh, it's at... My crit with scrutinous on human and biological targets is 108%. There aren't a ton of crit resistant enemies, but there are some, so it could be helpful for that. You don't really need it, to be honest. You could probably get away without taking scrutinous. So the 11 kills per turn can happen naturally. I, I know I had my setup, but you know, it could happen naturally. It's just unlikely. 
You need a high roll on the Rapid Gorilla to refund. All your shots need to hit and all your shots need to kill. And oftentimes you also don't have 11 targets on screen and, you know, good visibility to, to hit them. This build is very low maintenance. You don't have too much that you need to carry since you're not really carrying very many bullets. And uh, you also don't need to really repair your gun that often. Oftentimes what you find in the dungeon is more than enough to repair your gun. So the weaknesses, crafting is pretty brutal. In-game gear is basically reliant on all-in and hyper cerebrics. And that takes a you know very long time to get to that stuff. So you're gonna have a pretty shitty gun for a while. The earlier stages of the game is a little bit harder too because you're not gonna find a very good rifle. Um, you might not get very good goggles either. You're certainly not gonna be able to craft very good ones. And you don't have the shooting spree spec points yet in there. You're not going to have contraction, you're not going to have uh, FO, there's a lot of these things that you need for this build to really get going. There's really no great offhand weapon other than another sniper for this build. You don't have any feats that can benefit a SMG, your dex is kind of shitty so that sucks there. You're not strong enough for an assault rifle. You could I guess, um, you know, eat a barbecue to wield one but I'm still missing out on all the feats for that. And then shotgun, you know, I I don't have too much experience with shotguns, but I would imagine you still need a little something there to, to get it going. Groups and evasive enemies can be a problem. Also, pseudo-spatial can be a real issue for you since you have low shots per turn. Basically need to find a way to wait it out. Move and shoot penalties on all the rifles. Um, you can mitigate that hit a little bit with strafe if you use a spearhead then it's not an issue for you at all if you are in the si range 24 7 you are very squishy that's a weakness in the build you know it only takes maybe one or two hits for you to die you're very reliant on your shots hitting and killing so misses will sting more than they do on most builds what i would do different is i probably wouldn't pick up bullets and have this high of agility i'd probably also get four intelligence get cryostasis it's just a very nice spell for what it costs only 35 it's guaranteed and it's only 10 AP blitz is just kind of sucky to be honest it's a one use per fight and you do that for 20 AP and you completely demolish your MP uh, part of this build though kind of works to make that MP reduction not as painful. With hit and run, you have sprint, and you have contraction. And since you're wearing a doctor's belt, you also have jumping beam. You actually net more that same turn. So yeah, I would cut the three at Agi and then put it in more into Purr. Just because hitting evasive enemies is tough. You also, early on, aren't one-shotting everything. It takes a little bit of time for you to really get that going, while also maintaining 100% crit because what you could do is get smart goggles and that really helps um, early on but eventually you want to get seeker that way you can consistently one shot if your crits your normal crits are killing enemies with one hit then then you're good there no need for smart goggles adding the one in also allows for philosophy so that could be really nice a good offhand weapon that I would really use is the SMG and then get spec ops and maybe commando the problem is commando is bugged right now so that could cause a bit of an issue. Now we'll move on to the last fight, it's Port Zenith. Now in terms of difficulty with this build, I do think it is quite hard for a newer player. It requires a lot of meta knowledge, you need to know about all in, hyper cerebrics, benches, um, knowing enemy placements is really helpful. That way you know when you can assassinate, when you cannot. You need to know how to kite an LOS since you're fragile. Getting backed into a corner is basically a death sentence. Obviously you will miss and you need to really have a backup plan for that. And I do think this variation is a little more difficult than maybe Roberto's just because of you know the low perception so your hit chance is a little bit lower. And again I just got all that just for the 11 it, i basically did it just for the one fight that i'm going to use it for the praetorian because i wanted to show that off and again like i said you can still get the 11 kills per turn naturally it's just very unlikely to happen when you need it 
so something I normally don't do is I don't tell you about spec points, but I do think it's important to know. It's more important than it is with most builds, I feel. Shooting spree, you want to get the extra kill first, and then you want to get the cooldowns. Just rush that. That's very important. That's how that build gets going. Uh, getting strafe early is kind of a good idea. I know you won't get much use out of it, but the thing is, is it's kind of hard to fit it in later on. After about level 6, you're pretty much... Your feats are spoken for. You also want to get SI early. That way you can get your crits going. I did get Interloper, which a lot of times doesn't seem like a very good feat, but in this case it does help out a lot because it's great for snipe. What you do is you um, re-stealth mid-combat, but you get behind like a pole or something like that, so you LOS them, they can't get you. And now you actually have the MP on the next turn to pop out and still get the shot off. You don't have to sacrifice your AP just to do that. And that's really the only way to do it because if you try to boost your AP or your MP in another way, then you'll break stealth. So. And the blitz spec for this, you need it just for more consistency on the 11 shot kills. And that's the build. This is a very fun one. I'm glad I did this. My next build in my showcase series will probably be my Iron Man build. If you have any suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comments or reach out to me on the Discord. Thanks guys, I'll see ya.